Shall I answer in English? Okay. So, uh, say the, the most difficult part of the mission is to launch itself. Say that GSLA Mar 3, you should not forget that GSLA Mar 3, LVM3 has done the job of putting it in the right orbit very first time. It uh, went to 36,500 kilometers from that. We did all that up to translunar injection. It worked very well and, re and captured on the moon. So the first critical event is the launch. The second critical event is called the landing and capturing on the moon. If you miss it by your calculation, then it's gone. We, have, we cannot retrieve it and there is no mission. So this is a second critical mission. The third critical thing is called this separation of the lander and the orbiter, which happened in the appropriate time. This is again after so many days of spending in orbit, the mechanism has to work without any problem. So it worked very well. And the last critical moment is, of course, that you have watched along with us. That's it. I'll take it. You. Okay, success of Chandrayaan-3 meaning for, for the future exploration. I think it's all clear to you. I don't have to tell. See, f when, when it is such a tough journey for going to moon and landing, soft landing, which is very difficult for any nation to achieve today, even with the advancement of technology, and we achieving it in just two, two missions. The first mission had a narrow miss, and now we achieved it so perfectly. It gives confidence to configure missions to going, not only going to moon, going to Mars, sometimes land on the Mars, maybe in the future going to Venus and other planets and, and also sometimes go beyond uh, uh, asteroids and others. We should think about it. I think you should all support us to plan such missions with a very, very cost-effective mission. Nobody in the world can ever do like this what we do and nobody will be able to succeed maybe in the minimum most attempts. So I request each one of your support, encouragement, the whole of the nation should be behind us to do this. Mushkil da, mushkil da. So we, we went through, Sir. we went through lot of pain, a lot of agony. I, you, I must tell you the people behind Chandrayaan 2 are still there. They are part of the Chandrayaan 3 team. I think none of them you know today, but the project director of the Chandrayaan 2 is a senior reviewer of Chandrayaan 3. And, the pro, and most of the people who are in Chandrayaan 2 are with us, helping us to do the Chandrayaan 3. So they are part of this. And they have gone through such an agony of understanding what went wrong. It went about almost a year of, of uh, thrashing them to find out and tra looking at the data so much. And we, the whole of this team, they, I, didn't think, I don't think they would have slept very well in the last so many years. Uh, I think the credit goes to the, those people who have uh, spent enough amount of time. But equal amount of time has been spent by our seniors, uh, some of the retired colleagues who sat with them to find out how it can be improved this time. So my salutations to all such people who have, those are unsung heroes today. They are not in the, not in the seat, but my congratulations to all such people. Sir, sir, Raju Misra from Rajasthan Patrika. Sir, here, sir, here. Hello, hello, sir, 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 sir. Uh, Honorable Prime Minister was kind enough to call me and uh, he connected my name to the Chandrayaan mission. Of course, I am very proud of that. And, uh, <coughs> and he conveyed his uh, greetings to all the scientists in ISRO for the wonderful work they did. Naturally, all of us are proud of that, as I mentioned earlier. And he is very clear about the long-term vision. He wants to make sure that we remain very, very dominant in the area of space exploration and science. It's important for the nation. He is so clear about the Amritkal when he was put forth. And we have presented him these ideas and concepts. And I'm very hopeful that he will be supporting us to continue these missions, exploratory missions, science missions, in addition to what is important for societal and, com and commercial needs. Thank you. See, she is asking about the cost effectiveness of this mission and uh, I think I don't want to explain all the secrets because if I tell the secrets, they, others will learn and they will become very cost effective. Sir. It, see, ISRO already strong. Sir. It will be... Uh, sir, Rajiv Mishra Kamala from Rajasthan Patrika. Rajiv Mishra, sir, hello. Sir, Rajiv, sir. Ra sir. Sir, 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 here, 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 sir, sir, here. Sir, yeah. 
say we must also thank, uh, I think there is a question on who all help, helped us to achieve this mission. And we must thank all those nations which came forth to help us in Chandrayaan-3 mission. Uh, we had support from uh, USA, the NASA, the support from ESA, uh, as well as uh, uh, our uh, uh, colleagues in other scientific organizations in this country. Especially the support came in form of uh, ground stations, the tracking support. You know, in, from India alone, you cannot see the Chandrayaan-3 all the time. We need other ground stations. One in Australia helped us in Canberra. One in uh, New Narcia Gelplat, one in UK helped us, and another in NASA's uh, uh, control. And all these ground stations were beaming the data to us, uh, and we were able to get a lot of information, real-time information, uh, and command uplink, everything happened because of this. The second help came from uh, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory of uh, NASA, JPL, and they were also estimating the position of the Chandrayaan-3 very accurately using their uh, technology and passing on the information to us which gave us confidence to work on the mission design, trajectory design of the final phase of the mission. So thanks to all sir, of them for their support. Sir, 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 सोमनाथ Sir, no, there is a question sir, to me. Sir. There is a question to me about the technology strength of what we have done, and I must uh, also tell you that the technology that we have in Chandrayaan-3 is no far less complex or inferior to any other technology that goes to the moon. So we have the best of the sensors of the world, the best in the class in the Chandrayaan-3, and uh, I can tell you one story of Chandrayaan-2 to Chandrayaan-3. There is an instrument called the Laser Doppler Velocimeter was added in Chandrayaan-3, which was developed by one of the laboratory of ISRO. And this is a world-class instrument we're capable of measuring the velocity. And our cameras, which are put on board, developed by uh, space application Chandra Ahmadabad, gave those beautiful pictures from the moon. And the inertial system package, which measures the orientation velocity made by the ISRO inertial system center. And our rockets are one of the best that put it in the right orbit. And we have engines and liquid propulsion made in India by LPSC, the Liquid Propulsion Center of ISRO. So it's a made in India craft. So the, the, the capability that we have today is as good as anybody. Sir, 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 sir,